Hi, uh, here are the fines for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, May 7th and May 8th, 2011. Most of the purchases were done yesterday, on Saturday, May 7th. Uh, I, most, I mostly bought everything at the same collective yard sale, which uh, was... I'll never know if it was a mistake or not, but I missed a lot of other yard sales. Th these guys didn't want to start until 9. Damn it. So, uh, it was a bunch of guys, collectors, who were selling their uh, leftovers or whatever they took out of their collection. So, uh, I still found some interesting things. First, the first purchase, $2.50 for two LPs at a dollar each and 50 cents for a 45. Now, let's start with a 45 here. So, c'est un, un disque, euh, vous devinez tout de suite, qui a rapport au Québec, 1977. Hymne national québécois, nous sommes la nation. Mais je l'ai acheté à cause de Roland Chenaille. Malheureusement, ils, euh, ils ont mis de la grosse musique en arrière de sa voix. Puis moi, j'aurais aimé que ce soit juste sa voix et rien d'autre. Parce que, évidemment, Roland Chanda, il était dans les bergers puis dans le clan Beaulieu. Puis sa voix a meublé mon enfance. C'était le bout de la semaine parce qu'il fallait se former à Yale d'arrêter de, de, de parler parce que mes parents écoutaient le, le clan Beaulieu puis euh, les bergers. Puis il fallait, fallait arrêter de faire du bruit dans le salon. En tout cas, j'ai trouvé ça. Uh, this this was great because I didn't have it. The only thing wrong with it is this rip. But the record is actually in great shape. It's on on Verve, and it's uh, of course Frank Zappa, Lumpy Gravy. I played a little bit of it, and it sounds great. Mm. So here is Anne Marie. This quad bomb with a grand success radiophonic at the time of my infancy. Take your time. J'ai trouvé en 45 tours, mais là j'ai le long jeu. Là, il était à 1$. Il n'est pas parfait, mais il joue, il joue très bien. Second purchase was. Oh god, this was so annoying. The guy had like 5 or 6 boxes of uh, albums. And he, he wrote uh, $3 for 5. So it, it was clear to me that it came to 60 cents a record. So I made a big pile and then I said, okay, here is what I found. Uh, I owe you this much. He said, no, 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 no. It's five dollars for three records. I, I pointed to the box. Oh, sorry, I got it wrong. And you ripped the lids off and, and rewrote. I was on. Uh, legally, if, if, if it had been a real store, I could have uh, sued. Well, not necessarily sued, but he was by law forced, uh, uh, obliged to. Uh, obligé, what's the word? Yeah, to to sell the, at the price it, it, it was advertising. Like, I don't, I overreacted, but come on! I had a whole stack of records that I thought were going to be sixty cents, and now I bang, they they jump up to one dollar and sixty seven. Well, it turns out that I st I didn't take ma that many out of the pile, and better yet, I got a few free ones at the end. So it it comes down to a dollar twenty five cents a record. Uh, Led Zeppelin three, which get this I don't even like Led Zeppelin at all except for one song which is Dire Maker which I have on the 45 and I don't have the LP for for that song but I collect um, novelty record covers and of course this is the original edition with the, the spinning disc all these images keep changing so this is really cool correct me if I'm wrong but I suspect that uh, later reissues don't have the just a plain cover I think and the record is not, is in great shape, which is useless for me because I don't I don't know a single one of these songs. It's not my kind of. Not, I'm not saying Led Zeppelin is not good. It's just not my cup of tea. I can't like everything. Um, this I used to lower the price of uh, to get a few freebies out of the pile. See the the, the cover is almost all ripped. It's on Decca, Rick Nelson, For Your Sweet Love, and it doesn't play that well. It doesn't it looks great, but then it, it sounds like crap. In terms of uh, conditions, so anyway, this one sounds much better. Ricky Nelson on Sunset, really cool record cover. Ricky Nelson. Unfortunately, it's uh, I've tried a, a, a spot check uh, one of the songs, Bebop Baby. It has tons of echo on it. I don't know if the original had echo also, but I have the box set, the Bear Family box set, and it doesn't have echo. This one was a big surprise for many reasons. First of all, I've never seen this record. I've never. I didn't know it existed. It's on Parkway. Chubby Checker in person. The only thing wrong with this record is Ilan wrote her name there. Otherwise, this is in great shape. I played it today. My God, what a great record. This is amazing. And it has the, the coolest version of Don't Let Go I've ever heard. Oh my God, I was, I was cooking in the kitchen earlier. 
I, I couldn't I was almost dancing to it it's really good if you see this record pick it up it's really good don't say oh it's just chubby shaker you know the twist and let, let's twist again and uh, um, limbo or party whatever but you, you gotta try this this is really good he sings a lot of songs that are not his songs like John Be Good that, and uh, I'm Walking and of course don't let go and uh, rip it up but this is really a good live concert it's amazing I really recommend this record. Boogie Woogie Chromatic par Philippe Martin son ensemble. French Canadian, uh, a rare French Canadian Boogie Woogie record. Very short record. Look at this. <laughs> These records were so short. Five songs. 1 minute 40, 1 minute 40, 1 minute 50, 2 minute 10 seconds, and 2 minute 8 seconds. That's freaking short. Really, really short. Anyway, but, it, but it's good. Tree Ventures Records. And I've left others there because at 60 cents I was ready to, to, to try some records that were that were far from perfect. But at a dollar, what I thought was going to be a dollar 67, I've put some back in the box. I, but I ended up with three: Swamp Rock. And there we go. One million dollar weekend. This is really good. I played it yesterday. And this one I haven't tried yet. Uh, more Golden Grace. Yeah. Opening cover. And then I found two Sandy Nelson records. Plays Fats Domino Hits, another short record. Five songs, 2 minutes, 15 seconds, 2 minutes, 2 minutes, and 3 seconds, 1 minute, 58, 225. God, these records were short. But it's good. Better have 10 very short songs that are all good than a boring record with only one or two good tracks, right? Another Sandy Nelson record, Boss Beat. Boss Beat. Ça, c'est une belle pièce de collection. Malheureusement, le disque grige beaucoup, mais je l'ai pris pour la couverture. De, 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 il y a juste un petit peu du jeu ici. Ça, c'est, je crois, le premier disque de Louis Forestier, ou un de ses premiers disques. Je ne connais pas très bien sa discographie, mais ce disque-là, il est assez difficile à trouver. C'est la première fois que je le vois pas cher dans une vente de garage. Euh, ceux qui, ont, qui se rappellent avoir vu à Musique Plus ou Musimax il y a quelques années, un documentaire d'une heure sur des pochettes de disques québécoises qui sont inusitées. Cette pochette-là faisait partie de, du documentaire. Et euh, en 1969, quand ce disque-là est sorti, ça a fait euh, toute un, tout un, une controverse à cause, vous l'avez peut-être remarqué ici, on y voit un totem. Si this record in 1969 was a big... Um, provoked a big scandal in Quebec because we can see a boob which was a big deal in 1969 mm, this record is kind of hard to find it's the first time I see it for cheap in the yard so I've seen it like a, f a few decades ago uh, at a high price in record stores and finally Zappa Zoot Allures which I already have but with major uh, cover damage this one is uh, really not bad it's a later edition on Warner Brothers because I, I vaguely remember that my other copy is not on Warner Brothers, it's on one of his labels. But it's still a great purchase. Then a guilty pleasure, and I love the Quick Bunny. N Nesquik! Quick Bunny. A button here, 50 big cents, half a dollar. Usually I don't pay more than 25 cents for it. Well. Then I found these foy pies. I'm going to switch to French, well, maybe not. See, I have this rare Pierre Lalonde. Uh, 45 record cover. Uh, Pierre, I don't see who sing who sang in English. It's gonna be cloudy and Louise. I really love the reason. You know, that, you know that song. And I got these other two records. Ici, j'ai trouvé uh, Rocket Bells Oreille, Pel Chipo. Puis ça me disait rien. Ils m'ont dit, j'ai pas ça nulle part. Ça doit être quelque chose qui a, finalement j'avais oublié que c'était sur leur premier album. Mais c'est pas grave. Je l'avais pas quand c'est tôt. Euh, Puis ça c'est pas mal spécial, ça vient, ça a, ça a sorti quand ils ont sorti la, la, une compilation des grands succès. Ça c'est euh, la complainte euh, du phoque en Alaska, par beau dommage. Puis l'autre bord c'est ce samedi soir. Évidemment vous l'avez vu, en vinyle jaune, pas mal cool. Puis, euh, these were 50 cents each, but I lowered the price at a dollar by mentioning that it's the wrong record in the sleeve here. This is so it's supposed to be. It's going to be Claudia and Louise, and instead it's uh, Montreal and uh, Angelito. So he said, "Okay, well, instead of 150, uh, I'll one dollar." I was I was so happy because you see, I already have. It's going to be Claudia and Louise, so I can put it in the right seat. But I don't think I have this one. Or if I do, it's in terrible shape. This one is not bad. 
because this side uh, is pretty rare. This side is easy to find on another on another album, but this one is harder to find. It's a song about Montreal. So that was a, a fun purchase. Then I got uh, this two d DVD set, 200 and plus commercials for three and a half hours. TV favorites, ca classic commercials. All, all of these old uh, commercials there. Well, that's always cool. I got this for four dollars. Then I found th I didn't expect to find this. The guy had a bunch of CDs, but not your uh, ordinary boring selection of CDs. It had a lot of unusual stuff I've never seen. Then I, I saw like this, the bees, free the bees, and I know this because um, on a on a pup, uh, a li an interactive puppet show I watch every Sunday night. It's called Sunday Puppet Show. Um, uh, Yappy Fox, the main character, sometimes plays music on the show, and he played Chicken Payback. And I said, "Oh, that song is so cool!" And I downloaded the, the album uh, last year and played it in the car after burning it on on a CD. And I was glad to find the original CD for two bucks because the CDRs don't last very long. After a few years, they stop working. So I always try to get when I love an album, I always try to get the original album. So. And then I kept looking and I found the, this this one I laughed and he said, Oh, you can have this one for free. <laughs> Miracle Happy Summer from William Hung. But it doesn't have Shebang. <laughs> cover so bad. Got this for free. <laughs> I didn't play it. And uh, did I find something else that day? Oh yeah, a bit later, my aunt calls me to tell me that she saw someone uh, doing a yard sale on her street. And I said, Oh, it's too late. It's lunchtime. Nothing good will be there. Oh, I saw a lot of records. You should go. So I finished lunch, and I I went there and I found um, seven al I got seven albums and a 45 for a uh, dollar fifty. But what pissed me off is that someone there were two boxes and I was I started a, a, a crappy box, and a lady next to me decided to to look at records and she, I was looking at what she was seeing and she she had a great one. She passed a great record. And I said, Oh my God, I can't wait to grab that one. So. I was like half checking my box which was crappy anyway and then as I was about to to take her box I didn't know someone was behind me and he cut and he said oh may I check the records he asked the lady and he, he grabbed the rare record I was so pissed off it was a rare uh, late 60s psychedelic uh, record made in Quebec very very rare I was so mad I offered five bucks to the guy and instead of the 25 cents he paid for it and he said no I, I really want it anyway it's j just to mention, I was really, really in a bad mood yesterday because it was the third time in three weeks that I got. Uh, um, what's the, I don't know if there's an expression in French we would say, je me fais couper de l'herbe sous le pied, which means like somebody gets just before you uh, get something you wanted just at, at the last second. Ici, 45 tours de Charlington, Mama Mushi. Je n'ai pas su comment t'aimer. Isn't that a great record label? Quebec label, Campus. Campus. Uh, this one is a French rocker from the late 60s, Ronnie Bird. Uh, the record cover is in terrible shape. I've put a plastic around it because it's such it's so dirty. Tried cleaning clean it and it didn't work. But uh, it, the record is in great shape and it's really good. Uh, at au tout début, Jean-Pierre Ferland, second copy. C'est une ma deuxième copie parce que ma première, je me rappelais pas si elle touchait au plus. Oh, ben noix 25 cents, c'est pas une scratch que je prenne. C'est surtout pour un mi disque. Sont sur un, un disque. Les Girolas, succès souvenirs, qui peut pour le fun. Je vais un somme, ça a l'air Ça ici, je, pour enfants de 3 à 10 ans, this is a children's record, just because, I, I, on the cover, this is part of a park in Montreal, that's uh, the Parc de la Fontaine. They had the, these little things for, for kids that the, they, they removed it, so it's a uh, part of uh, Montreal's history, that's why I, I took this one. This is uh, for fun. <laughs> Naked Lady Year. François Carré à l'orgue, and it's pretty kitschy music. Hits of the day played at uh, orchestra and, and, and organ. Yeah. What's the name for that kind of record cover? Cheesecake? Cheesecake cover? Chad Atkins and his guitar on RCA Camden. Nice shape. And finally, I got uh, a compilation, French Canadian compilation from 1970. Opération Vacances. I don't know what they wrote, City à Cephal. But. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty groovy. Mm. Thanks for watching. Yeah.